It was nice to finally be standing outside of the Celebrity Infinity at the Buenos Aires Industrial Port. After several days and about 11,000 miles of traveling, I was ready for the bucket list 14-day Antarctic cruise. Let's start the room tour of stateroom number 7175. The cabin is a class 2A standard balcony room. The stateroom is shown with the bed set together as a marine king, but if you are traveling with a friend, you can ask for the bed to be set apart, making two marine twins. The room is comfy with a functional layout that includes an oversized armchair and a small table. Bedside tables hold lamps with individual switches, but there are no USB ports or electrical outlets near the bed. My first impression of the room was that it looked pretty good for being over 20 years old and that it was very, very clean. There was plenty of room between the end of the bed and the wall, and it felt more open than some of the other staterooms I've had. There is a desk space that also doubles as a vanity set to one side. There is a large mirror, as well as two smaller storage cabinets set on each side of the desk. You will find the cabin power outlets near the desk, with two standard 110 and two European outlets. There are also switches for the vanity lights, as well as the balcony light outside. On embarkation day, you'll find the cruise schedule for the next day, as well as information about the crew, how to access the internet, as well as any special announcements regarding the sailing. In your stateroom, you should also find your morning room service menu with complimentary items, as well as a standard room service menu that now has a $9.95 delivery fee, not including the 18% mandatory tip. There is an artist signed and numbered print next to the bed, and even though it is an interesting piece, I found it a bit chaotic and hard on the eyes to be a stateroom centerpiece. Now let's check out the large closet space. The bathroom was very clean, and it also looks like it had been given a few updates, especially in the vanity area, but unfortunately, the showers in this room class still do have shower curtains. This room was also equipped with a third passenger bunk bed, which is stored in the ceiling during the day. The smaller flat screen TV and the refrigerator can be found in the storage armoire near the foot of the bed. The small refrigerator was clean and working great. I found it full of pay items, so I asked the room steward to remove them so I could use the fridge for my things instead. I did eventually find the hair dryer in the side of the vanity desk. Now let's check out the balcony.
The balcony partition can be moved by the room steward if you're traveling with the people in the stateroom next to yours. An interesting design feature to this ship are the peekaboo floor windows, two decks above the balcony, um, reducing your privacy on the balcony a little, but also giving the people in the dining room something else to look at when they check if their shoes are tied. It was almost time for sail away and I found my luggage in the hall. The attendant hadn't had time to bring it to the room yet. I grabbed it and then headed to my balcony to watch us leave Buenos Aires. The tigers I see with the silt in the sun would carry us to Ushuaia and then to Antarctica. I was thrilled to be on board and on this amazing adventure. Mm -hmm.